started thinking that I, I know the meaning of feeling like you're losing your game. I get it twisted, but I can't help believing that if things were right, I wouldn't. I am Sarah McCoy. Um, my husband and I uh, first looked at this space here at 387 Capitol Avenue uh, for a coffee shop last summer. Um, we moved to Hartford two and a half years ago uh, because our daughter had gotten into a magnet school and because my husband was teaching in the city. Um, but we always had the itch to start our own business and to contribute to a uh, growing community um, that's here in the city. Uh, so after seeing the space a couple times, um, my husband and I realized that we were not equipped to open the business by ourselves. Um, we have two small children and it proved uh, to be quite the task. Um, so on a uh, fall Monday evening, I had met up with Michael Acosta, who I had met at a, um, the West End Farmer's Market the summer before, because uh, he had a mobile coffee cart business. And we sat down and talked about our uh, vision really for Hartford, not so much uh, coffee, but that soon came into play. <laughs> I'm Michael Acosta, and Story and Soil came from that very idea. Uh, what was something that we could build and have in Hartford that was a celebration of the amazing things that were already occurring and what could we actually provide to that experience and that momentum. So coffee, especially coffee, is very special in that way. Um, we aim to create a space where we could provide not only a extraordinary product and one that is fairly unique to the state and provide a great experience for our guests. Music is really important to our space. Uh, we'll play records uh, as often as we can and um, we all have kind of our, um, our, our go-to music that we play in the shop. Um, and it's actually from an album title that we get our name, um, Keep Your Ear to the Ground, The Stories in the Soil is an album by Bright Eyes. Um, and we really liked it because it, um, on, on two fronts, uh, you know, we envision our space to be one that people share their stories and really connect with one another. And obviously our product is from the soil. But it also speaks to the story that coffee takes um, from being harvested um, in South America or Africa or Central America to um, the being dried and processed and roasted and, and eventually um, brewed here where people um, enjoy the finished product. So that whole story uh, is important to us and we, we source coffee that's sustainable and as traceable as we can. And that's a really big focus um, with my own background in coffee and with my uh, previous business. It, it, it became very clear that to create a culture and to actually provide a space for people was 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 something that was very profound and something that wasn't very common in, in Hartford. So our, our space and our aesthetic and the experience that we aim to provide are, are all very intentional components of something that we want mm -hmm. our guests to take away with them. Give yourself grace. Um, because, you know, we, we thought a lot of things before um, we actually opened the business. Um, we thought we were going to open in March or April and we opened in July and we thought, um, you know, there's, there's just a number of examples of things that, that we thought, oh, we're going to do it like this, we're going to do it like this. And when, when push, push came to shove, um, you know, we, um, I don't want to say make, made compromises, but we we realized you know what it what it would take to get a business done. Um, and but one of the things that that we've always maintained is we've had have had a number of non-negotiables of things that um, you know that we don't change, like the quality of our coffee, the quality of our milk, how we treat our employees. Um, uh, those things are are non-negotiables for us, and I think. Um, uh, I think they're really important foundations, but all the other stuff, um, you know, they'll eventually work themselves out. But 
for entrepreneurs, it, it could seem like the end of the world, um, and it's you'll laugh at it even three months later. Your best asset is your is your network, and you know these are you're dealing with degrees of separation, but everyone is very valuable in providing support in any way they can. So really value your customers. Look. Um, look in in whatever resource you have and and see uh, th those friends and those business owners and those community members and those organizers that really have a vision that aligns with yours and help them help you a as well as um, find ways where you can collaborate and have your message actually spread farther. It's an interesting city. You know, I grew up in the suburbs and never really came to the city. Um, my parents would take us to a show at the Bushnell every once in a while or an event at the Excel Center, but um, I didn't know the culture of the city um, until um, until really my three-year-old daughter started school here, and um, and then you get to see you know, through that experience we've gotten to see the the flavor and the the um, character of each neighborhood um, and they're really remarkably different for a small city um, I think I think Hartford what Hartford has going for it is the people who are here love it and they're here because they want to make it better um, you know I many of the people who have small businesses that we've met or um, you know, volunteer on commissions or they're not doing so to get their name out they're they're doing it because they love the city and the people who put Hartford down are usually from the suburbs and they don't they don't know the city like we do um, so Hartford um, made sense for our business because there aren't many um, specialty coffee shops here but um, it, it made sense for us personally because it's um, it's who we are. We like uh, we like the city and we like talking to different people, and we'll have that in a 15 minute uh, span here at our shop. I've been in Hartford for about eight years now, and in that time, I've created a a, a pretty great network um, within the food industry, and that in large part came from my previous business, but also just my fascination with food and food that was backed with just value and intention and this the, the, this vision to create positive change. And so um, I, I see coffee as very much a conduit for, uh, for growth and for um, a, a, an opportunity to create, um, whether that be culture, a community, art, connections, and so in, in living in Hartford for that long, I, I came to love the spirit of really making this place your own. Hartford was uh, really that place that I think um, would embrace a small coffee shop that had a lot more to offer than just a great product but that was backed up by a, I think, world-class coffee and so much more. So Hartford was really that place that I, I wanted to share that with, and I thought that our network and our community would really support.